Okay, well, good morning all for Thursday, the 7th of July. Synoptic picture, uh, the Azores high is continuing to build and uh, over the next uh, sort of week or so, that's what's going to bring in some uh, pretty high temperatures. Um, not that we're going to see today, but uh, looking into uh, the beginning of next week, middle of next week, we could see temperatures for a couple of days in excess of 30 degrees. But for now, uh, overnight's cold front went through. Um, it's probably still hanging over us at the moment, um, but it started to clear off into the channel. And we're left behind it, a bit of a fresher feel currently, that wind now coming from the north. Um, front's not too far away, but uh, once this cold front uh, manages to clear off, then we shouldn't be in, uh, in too much of a bad place. Go through the next couple of days. Uh, tomorrow starts to uh, see it get a little bit more blue, and that sort of is the uh, way for the weekend, really. But so uh, that northerly wind or northwesterly wind uh, really remaining. So we look at uh, the wind forecast, as you can see on here, generally pretty much dead north. Um, Reducing in strength at the moment, it's probably about 20 knots at flying heights, but by lunchtime, it would be more like 10 knots. And uh, in the middle of the country, yeah, quite likely to be uh, northwesterly, whilst in our area, either due north or maybe even a touch northeasterly. Satellite picture of the UK at the moment shows a fair amount of cloud, um, even some wave interference up into, uh, in, into northern parts of the Midlands and up into the borders. Uh, but yeah, lots and lots of cloud. Um, as David was saying, there's optimists and pessimists sound of this cloud. I'm going to try and be a realist with what's going to happen today. Um, but uh, yeah, no sign of that cloud breaking quite yet. Um, I think the front does have a couple of hours yet uh, to show its presence before it disappears. And the public forecast agrees with that. Uh, if you look at uh, how the day begins, it's going to be fairly overcast and then brightening up this afternoon. Wind uh, veering round to a northeasterly from the north, but is reducing in strength, which should uh, make everything a little bit easier than what it probably is at the moment. Uh, reasonable visibility and humidity dropping later in the day. Uh, it will feel uh, fairly cool at the moment, so given the fact that there's no sun reaching the ground. Uh, but as you can see on here, temperatures start to hot up, so we uh, should have a good week of flying ahead if you like blue, of course. GFS is predicting with the sunshine, we should see 25 degrees at Lashem. And as things start to get better, uh, then we should see uh, dew points down into single figures. That's the picture outside at the moment. As you can see, uh, a lot of cloud, pretty much uh, overcast currently. And uh, yeah, not going anywhere for the next hour or two. Currently at Farnborough, they're reporting few at 1700, and the next cloud layer being uh, around two and a half thousand feet. Says later today, few at four and a half, and uh, they're predicting a north, uh, north, northwesterly wind. Um, similar at Odium, uh, broken at two one at the moment, becoming broken at two five later. Let's just look a bit further around. Shoreham saying very similar. You're quick, you could get on the ridge, but it might lighten off by the time you get there. Um, but again, just that northerly wind. Sky Sites, which I'm using as the primary model now, um, is showing as follows. Uh, better along the south coast than up to the north, unless you can jump this gap, which may be a little bit weaker. Up into um, the northeast of England, looking very nice indeed. Um, but uh, yeah, could be a bit of a uh, struggle at the times uh, in some of the other areas as it's going to be a little bit more uh, weaker and cloudier. But uh, in this area on the south coast, looking fairly reasonable. Not an early start by any means. Uh, if we look at sort of uh, 12 o'clock, starts to get going. Uh, it's really best part of the day looking right 2.30 onwards uh, as thermal start to get a bit more organised and less broken and uh, yeah not particularly long window but uh, should go up until uh, six seven o'clock. Uh, cumulus amounts as you can see here uh, starting off fairly low but by two o'clock uh, seeing around Lasham 
uh, cloud base about three and a half thousand feet and then later this afternoon it will go a bit more blue haze caps uh, to around four and a half thousand feet uh, maybe even five thousand five and a half thousand feet above sea level later in the day uh, looking very nice along the south coast there maybe it's convergence and as we look further up the country again very similar 1900 meters so six thousand feet cloud base in isolated spots uh, but haze caps showing on here uh, but yeah definitely uh, sort of three half two three o'clock being that uh, point where it does seem to be really going well uh, no real upper cloud once all of this lower cloud moves out the way as far as I'm aware and there's no significant weather or showers or anything planned let's have a look at convergence So late this afternoon, there is uh, a chance of convergence along the south coast. Uh, that's sharp on here, um, but uh, that's the only convergences I'm aware of at the moment. And it does start a little bit later, according to this, than it normally does uh, at other times that we've seen in the week. Good. Okay, let's look at top meteo to compare. Uh, as you probably know, this uh, is always a little bit different. Normally not quite as accurate, but we'll just have a quick look at the data here. As you can see, yeah, it thinks that everywhere is good. It doesn't really understand that the front is still here. So if I look at nine o'clock in the morning, it says it should be soarable, but I don't think so. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but later this afternoon, um, this is about. Uh, Three, four o'clock in the afternoon, uh, we're looking at uh, 1600 meters, so 5,000 feet uh, relatively widely. Uh, and it's staying like that until uh, sort of half six, seven o'clock. So, uh, yeah, I think it's right in the afternoon. Uh, this predi uh, predicts less haze caps, but uh, yeah, the morning it's not quite picking up. So, I don't think the potential to flight distance is right at all. And location forecast, see on here, um, that's for the wrong day. Not log me out. Okay, so as you can see here, it thinks it should be already sorable, but it won't be. Uh, not particularly good anyway. Uh, but once again, this is correct in seeing that sort of half one uh, or two, it does get going quite nicely. And that northeasterly wind, 25 degrees, according to that. I think that might be a bit of a optimistic side so uh, to sum up a uh, northerly day um, wind reducing and it gets it bright in the afternoon looks like uh, the southeast coast is best or if you're able to jump up to the north then great no 10 wise uh, there's not too much really 14 is just a danger area which is active at night uh, so it does not concern us uh, lots of paragliding, no TAMs. Little Risington is active uh, with gliding this week. The rate Z is active. Um, lots of activity around uh, sort of the old Warden area. Uh, uh, so just keep that in mind if you're going up there. I think uh, they've put another few trigger no TAMs in there, which are not helpful because it uh, clutters up the map. Uh, aerobatics at Sywell, quite likely. And uh, looking at the rest of it is just paragliding no terms. Uh, there's nothing else really to affect, but do check the no terms if in your area if you are going slightly further afield. Okay, operationally, runway and use is still to be decided. Uh, it is likely to be 09, I think, as that wind back of is. Um, but so uh, we'll have to have a look when uh, we get out there. So, and hopefully the wind will drop a bit because we are quite close to the crosswind limit for winching at, the, at this present moment but uh, that should within the next hour start to become a bit easier within limits so 09 or 27 um no uh, gridding today please just come to the runway and we'll get you launched from there okay see you on the airfield bye for now